Hello YouTube, adult fan of LEGO here and welcome to this LEGO Star Wars review of set 75017, the jewel on Geonosis. So this set comes with a piece count of 391 pieces. As you can see it is ages 8 to 14. It retails in the UK currently for £39.99 from the LEGO store or the Lego store online. So, before we look at the set itself, quick look at the instructions. As we can see, all there. It's the rear. Okay, inside rear cover, we have the latest sets from the summer 2013 um, wave. Uh, the inventory count over two pages. So we have a total of 71 pages of build. So that's our instructions. Okay, just want to also show you the spare pieces that came with this set. There are quite a few. Hopefully, you can see those. In there, so a number of spare pieces, which is always welcomed. So you can see there the front of the box itself. Just going to spin that around, show you the rear of the box, and as per usual, what we have here are the features of the actual set itself. At the top we have the minifigures that come in the set, so um, Poggle the Lesser is I think is a new variant, new to this set. In fact if we have a look at there they are all new or updates, so new variants. So that's our box. So into the actual review of the set itself. Okay, first thing to say again, this is a great little build. Um, comes with quite a few features on it. Um, some hidden hidden features, uh, which I'll take you around and show you in a second. As you can see, four minifigures um, and also a speeder bike. So this is Count Dooku's. Um, speed of art, so we will start with this. Let me get this to focus. Here we go. So, very quick tour. Count Dooku speed of art, so obviously that's where he can stand um, in there. And we've got this clear translucent piece here, so when it's obviously flat on the surface, that's meant to give the um, illusion that this is actually hovering or flying. Okay, so that's the speeder. Okay, before I show you the set itself, I'm just gonna uh, quickly show you the minifigures. Okay, so first one is Poggle the Lesser. You can see him here. Cool looking little minifigure with his wings there, these are plastic and come on a sheet which you just um, remove from the sheet okay as you can see here he comes with a staff this piece here I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this I can get this to zoom maybe I had to pick that up it is quite difficult but in there this is actually the Death Star plans and if you can just make it that out in in there. This is a printed piece, translucent, but it is actually um, the plans to the Death Star. Okay, so he is. If we take a look at his head, cool little head. I'm just going to remove this because again, this is one of these moulded rubbery pieces. You can see there. 
see that moving. It's all this moulded rubber, so while well I've got hold of him, I should just put his head back on. And there again, you can see the wings and how they fit on. Your oh, apologies. <sighs> just dropped. Pug all the lesser there. Okay, just going to remove his head again so we can see the printing on the torso. Okay, there we go. Printing there on the front of that torso and on the legs. Got this gold and silver and bits of red colour. Um, it's some really cool printing and there on the rear of the torso. Excellent detail on this minifigure, I must say. Okay, so that's Poggle the Lesser. Next we have... Our pilot droid. This is FA4 pilot droid. FA4 pilot droid. You can see there he's actually... I'll take that off there, actually. This is actually made. You have to make this from... That's a... Um, three by uh, three by one plate, um, some cheese slopes. Have this modified one by one brick there, and then obviously the body just slots into him there with the kind of the, um, droid body and arms on it. So that's our pilot droid. Next up is Yoda. Most people know and have seen Yoda by now. Slightly different variant though for this set. You can see there his front torso printing. And the printing on the rear of his head. You can see his face. It's obviously the smaller legs. Lightsaber, the green lightsaber. So we have this Technic piece on the rear of here. I'll show you what that's used for in a minute. I'm just going to remove that so uh, you can see his rear torso printing. Oh, there we go. So that's the rear torso printing. So that is um, that's Yoda. Finally, we have Count Dooku. You can see there. Okay, so front torso printing. He's holding his red lightsaber with his standard for him curved hilt. This curved lightsaber hilt there, chrome, very cool. Force lightning on the other hand. You can see there. You can see his face printing. Okay, looking pretty cool is white hair piece and I'll just remove that hair as he does come with if he gets to focus a double sided face so obviously looking very angry and annoyed there looking a little bit calmer on that side obviously he has his cape on, so if I just lift the rear of that cape you will see that there is no rear torso printing. Okay, so that's Count Duco. That's the minifigures done. Okay, so I'm just going to take you around the set itself now. First thing I want to show you is, if you remember, I pointed out this piece on the rear of um, Yoda, so this long Technic piece here, so he slots on to this like so when I move this around here you'll see this piece here so this is how we can move like so, so let's spin that round that way again you can see he can move and spin around so that he's uh, flying so this is from the scene where he's fighting um, Count Dooku so we would have Count Dooku here, obviously 
fighting Yoda. And then Yoda's flying around and obviously gets him. So that's that piece. Um, so let's start around this side. So here is actually a secret compartment. So this opens up like so. You can see a little crate area. So you can either put in there the Death Star plans or, for example, you can put in there Count Dooku's Force Lightning. And that just shuts up like slow. So rather. Okay, sticking on here. These pieces here. I'm just going to pick this up to show you. You can see there, these are like some little lamps here. You see them moving. These are actually, they come out, they're like flick fire design. We've got that down there. So on the rear of it, hopefully you can see here two pins. So they are what shoot these out. So just push that one. Um, and you can see that flies out. And again, hopefully you'll see this next one fly out like so. And they just simply push back in. Um, lamp detail here. Um, there's obviously a lamp. Okay, here we have the ramp area. So this will be where Count Dooku comes in on his speeder um, and lands there on the landing platform. Some little detail pieces down here. Okay, keep on spinning this round. Um, I'm trying to remember it is yet. Yeah, next bit of detail is here. If we see this piece here, again, this is part of the structure which is going to get destroyed when Yoda's using the Force and having the battle with Count Dooku. So there is actually a, another Technic pin, which hopefully you can see there. So when we push that in, part of the building will come off there. So I'll show you that now. If we watch this piece. You would have seen there, and that flew off. So that is that piece. Here, so again, that just simply sits back down there. As you would have probably noticed, this all is on hinges here in the middle, so this can um, turn round. I'm just going to take the odor off there. You can come round to uh, pretty whatever configuration you want it. Um, next feature is this tower piece here. Again, I'll show you there. There's yet again another Technic piece here. So what we do is simply lift this up and that tips the tower over like so. See that there. Again, this is the structure of the building being destroyed. Okay, so these are all on pins. So these can all come apart like modulars. So they just simply pull out and hopefully you can see there the pins. Bring that in. You see the pins there where they join. So they come out and obviously go back on. Exactly the same on this side, a small piece. That one doesn't. That side, apologies. Yeah, that pulls out. So we can take this whole wall off if we wanted to, just have that. Um, and again, you can see the Technic pieces here. If you wanted to, this end piece here also comes off. You have this hose piece. So again, another Technic piece there. So that'll just slot there. And like I said, this is the piece um, which has got the hinges on it. So that go back in there, hose back on to that piece. Like so. Simply slot that back in there. And I believe that is all the features um, on this particular set. So there we go, that's my review of this set, 75017, the Jewel on Geonosis finished. Hopefully you found this informative and useful and interesting. Um, please go ahead and, as usual, leave me comments. Please give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share the video. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel for more um, LEGO reviews, unboxings, LEGO hauls, um, and yet to still to come, mocks. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.